Hi everyone! While I was working on a material for a new video, I needed to rotate and pan a texture at the same time, and I noted that there's not a single node option for doing this in Unreal Engine. So I decided to create a material function that could be quickly used in the future, and took the opportunity to make a video about it, hoping that could be useful. Okay, let's begin. To create a material function, right-click in the Content Browser and, under Material, select Material Function. I'm going to call it MF Pan and Rotate. Opening it, we are presented with a standard material graph. It contains just a node that represents the final output. Let's add the first input of the function by right-clicking in the canvas and searching for Function Input. Its name will be UV Tiling and its type Vector2. As the name implies, this will make the function control the tiling of the texture. Now we add a texture coordinate node and then multiply it with the UV tiling input. Okay, let's add a panner node to make the texture move, then we are going to parameterize its inputs. Connect the multiply output to the coordinate input of the panner, and also a time node to the time input. Now we need to create the second function input, like we did before. Its name will be pan speed and its type vector2. At this point, we need a way to rotate the UV coordinates, and that could be done using a custom rotator node. The UV input should be connected to the panner output, while the rotation center will be connected to the third input of the material function. Let's create it and call it rotation center and set the type to vector2. One thing to note is that all these inputs are always required when calling the material function, but that could be cumbersome, so let's add a default value at least to the rotation center. Set it to 0.5 and 0.5 and be sure to check the box Use Preview Value as Default. In this way, if we give the function a specific center, it will use it. Otherwise, it will make the rotation happen around the center. Okay, now let's create the last function input for the custom rotator, change its name to Rotation Angle and set the type to Scalar. Okay, now we need to add a Texture Sample node the custom rotator output goes straight to the UV of the texture sample, and the RGB output goes to the output of the function. Finally, let's make the texture parametric by creating a new function input and calling it texture. Its type should be texture2d. This needs to be connected to the text input of the texture sample. Good. The logic of our material function is now complete. Be sure to not have anything selected in the canvas and check the Expose to Library box. This will make the function appear when searching for nodes. Also, adding a description is recommended. This will shown as a tool tip and could be really useful for later reference. If you want to keep all your functions in the same group, you can create a new one using the Library Categories text field. Here, I'm going to set it to User Defined. Okay, we're done here. Let's save the function. To use it, just create a material or open an existing one, right-click in the canvas and search for pan and rotate, you will see the function appear in the new category just mentioned. Let's create two vector2 two constants, one float and a texture object. Set the values according to your use case, then right-click on the material function and select Start Previewing Node to see it in action. As stated before, we didn't need to explicitly create a vector2 for the rotation center, because it has been set up to use a default in case of a missing input. That's all guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video, if you did, remember to subscribe to the channel to not miss the new upcoming video I'm working on. Cheers!